Hi, I'm Brian so from uh, Apigu, and here I am today at the McGill Apicultural Association to do a winter check of the forest. Now, the winter checkup is not something that is quite mandatory to do, but it is uh, quite recommended for the following reasons. First, you eliminate by checking the bees in the winter, preferably in a month or so, three, four weeks. You elimin eliminate that uh, uncertainty, like whether the bees are alive, are they doing good, are they dead, not for good. Second, you uh, can spot problems in your, uh, in your apiary and learn things also. Uh, for example, you are sure that you, you left the bees with the, enough of food during the winter, but still you find one colony that is that has starved to death. Um, so that might be a problem there, that uh, there was, a, for example, that there was a robbery, immediated robbery in the, your apiary, and that maybe some of your other hives are affected too. So you better check uh, all the hives and if possible try to feed them if that's the case. Give them a, slip them a, a sugar patty uh, to try to save them. Uh, and the third reason you should uh, check your bees is because uh, by knowing what's, your, what's the situation in your apiary you can do some planning for the next season. If your all of your bees are uh, hopefully alright, then better buy some new boxes to make splits and uh, to make uh, honey, of course. And uh, if you find a bees dead, then uh, better plan to buy new bees. Uh, don't give up. That's the, the worst thing to do, to give up and keep it. Alright, so how do you go about checking the bees uh, during the winter? You certainly don't want to open the hives. Uh, temperature right now is around minus 5. And uh, the problem is that, the, uh, of course, if, you are, if your bees are wrapped, uh, that's definitely a problem for opening the hives. Uh, but also, uh, the problem is that the, uh, the inner cover is quite glued up with the propolis to the, to the super. Um, and at this, these temperatures, propolis is quite uh, hard. So, but popping open the, the, the hive, uh, that would cause a lot of disturbance in, a, in the colony. And the bees would not definitely not like it. And some of them will probably start flying around and stinging and stuff like that, all that jazz. So the, the, the objective here is to check the bees, but not open the hive. So the best way to do it, there are a couple of ways to do it. Uh, one of the ways is if you have a, a round opening like that, like entrance, which you probably don't, but nevertheless, it's just to peek inside and see the bees there. So the bees are alive. Uh, that gives you only information that the bees are there and that they are alive. Uh, you want to actually uh, be certain what's going on in there. Uh, you want to hear the bees. So one way, one of the ways to do it is to put a your ear against the box and try to make a seal around it, you know, like a vacuum, uh, so that the sound uh, transfers well to the uh, to your uh, things in your head, in your ear. Uh, so, uh, and then probably you will hear through the five the the. the low tone, that's what you want to hear, the low buzzing, uh, then uh, 
it is also a very good idea to give a, a hive a knock so that you hear the response of the bees. Uh, you should hear the loud buzz when you knock and then that buzz have to go at the base level. So in a bee's uh, words it would be Okay, I do it with the accent, but it's all right. Uh, <coughs> now, I use something like this. Uh, you definitely can use just the, the tubing. And uh, put one side in your ear, and put uh, the other side uh, uh, inside of the hive. Uh, it, will, it will probably be the better way, it is a better way to do it than doing it just... Uh, uh, by pressing the ear against the high, especially if you're kind of fat like me. Uh, so just uh, do the same thing as if you would uh, use uh, just your ear. Put uh, one hand in your ear, put inside, knock and listen. If uh, you listen, if you hear the, the buzz like that, like I described, you're fine, okay? If you hear the buzz, for example, that is kind of uh, uh, high-pitched or kind of uh, sad, it's funny But uh, to say that bees can make a sad buzzing. But uh, if you get to the colonies that do that, you will recognize, uh, you will know what I'm telling you. It's kind of weird sounding buzz, okay? And then uh, such colonies may also uh, uh, not decrease the intensity of the, the loud buzz when you knock on it. They will continue with the loud buzz. That can tell you that maybe something is wrong. Not necessarily, but maybe. So if you find a colony like, colony like that, sorry, uh, you should probably uh, get back to or the day after and check it again, just to be sure. And of course you can use the gimmick like that, uh, a stethoscope. Uh, I don't have the head on it, but you can try doing with the head, but it's not necessary. It's because you can also put, uh, if you don't have the stethoscope head, you can put the, the, the tubing inside and listen. It's much uh, more convenient than just in the tube in your ear. Another way to uh, check out the colony to see uh, how it is uh, doing during the winter is to check the position of winter cluster in the colony. That can give you some uh, idea of uh, how much food you have there, approximately. It's not a very accurate method but uh, just can give you some clue. Uh, usually the, the colony uh, forms the winter cluster more towards the front of the hive. Uh, if, you, if you leave enough of food for the winter, they will have a good uh, layer of honey above them. So during the winter, they will first go upwards, then backwards, and then will go on the side. Sometimes it, they get messed up and they go around and that's why it's not so, so, so accurate method to uh, uh, estimate how much honey you have. So you do that by lifting the, uh, the roof. It's always a good idea to have some insulation, at least a sheet of uh, uh, styrofoam on it. Uh, this one, for some reason, doesn't have it. Uh, so how you figure out the, the position? You feel where is the, uh, the warmest part of the inner cover. So this one, I feel that it's warmer here. Of course, when you have insulation, it, you can feel it better. So it's warmer here. So the, the bees are probably still in, uh, still in front. So they probably have enough of food there. Okay, so that is how you can check it. Of course, uh, if you feel that it's, it's uh, uh, less warm, 
that would mean that the bees are either smaller, the colony is either smaller, or they are more uh, towards the bottom of the, of the top soup. Uh, so there it is. That's how you figure out, uh, uh, do your winter checkup. Uh, of course, you can pop open. And yeah, the cluster is like that. So the bees are alive. I'm not going to disturb them anymore. So no knocking anymore and putting tubes into them and good nests and stuff. Alright, that's it.